welcome to um my budapest vlog i'm actually currently in budapest right now so the first few clips that you actually saw were of yesterday i didn't film too much because we were just kind of wandering around and kind of finding places that we wanted to go see and everything and i'm not used to vlogging it's been a year i vlogged thailand and i didn't really vlog that very well which um to this day right now which is december the first week of december the Copenhagen vlog from this time last year is not up and neither is the Thailand vlog. So I'm sorry about that. It, they will come. They'll come before this. So you'll see them before this. <laughs> but I just haven't been into YouTube as much as I have been in the past. Like currently, like right now, I am trying to get back into it because I did enjoy it. And it got to a point where I just didn't anymore. And I kind of was vlogging for the sake of vlogging. And I love vlogging because I like being able to chat to you lot. I like being able to share what I'm doing and everything like that but I kind of felt like I was just doing stuff and having to get that shot and not enjoy what I was doing so like if I was on holiday I was having to make sure that I filmed stuff just so that you lot had content and if it was a couple of clips a day it didn't feel like worthy of being put up so that's kind of where I didn't um enjoy it anymore and I kind of with my new job um which I started a new job back in November last year and I've been there for a whole year now and I enjoy it and it's very time consuming. It's Monday to Friday and it's between 7 in the morning till 4 or 10 till 7. I get the weekends, I spend my weekends with David. I am kind of looking into maybe getting in the sale this year a laptop so I can do um, like editing at David's and stuff like that because I do want to get back into this. But welcome to Budapest day two and today we're just having a wander around. I've got this new jumper on from New Look. I have so many layers on. I literally have, I'll show you underneath here, um, a thermal top on and you can see underneath a thermal vest. It's minus three right now and it feels like minus two apparently. So minus five, sorry. It's cold. So um, I've wrapped up really warm. I've got my coat and that. I've got a hat and I've got some gloves. I was wearing a scarf, but because I have such a big neck on today, I, I will overheat if I have too many layers on. Um, my hair, by the way, guys, I changed to hairdressers because my hairdresser just wasn't doing what I wanted anymore. It looks really dark here, but I think it's just the lighting because it's it's not. She got so close to the root. Um, the hairdresser is actually a friend of mine. Um, we used to go to college together, like... Ooh. I was trying to work this out the other day. Maybe six years ago we went to college together so um, i'm gonna leave her instagram link down below we've been friends for a while kind of like chit chat and stuff like that and never been like since college been really really close but it's quite nice getting back to, to um like chatting to her again and everything she does my hair so this is the second time she's done it she's cut a load off this time because it was really dead and we're basically just trying on working on getting it as blonde as i want but also keeping it healthy so yeah i've got a new hairdresser i'll link her down below but um i would show you i remember it's a little bit messy it's very small as well like if i just show you like there's a bed there's a door here's a desk area and then the window is literally right where my arm is so it's um small we're staying in a mercure city center in budapest hotel me and david who's here behind me are going to go explore budapest now and kind of have the day out and i will bring you along with us and film it and everything and hopefully um i create some decent content for you or you just enjoy what i do create for you so um roll to the montages
room now. Um, in a minute, I'm going to show you what I just got from the Christmas market. David got a hot dog, and I picked up something that is traditional to um, Budapest. Basically, it's like a um, piece of dough, and you can have it topped with like sour cream, garlic, and cheese. And I just went for garlic and cheese because I'm not too sure on the sour cream, and I didn't want to buy something that was that massive and then not like it. Um, and we've been to the shops, we've been to spa, we've bought some like crisps and bits and bobs, and we've just received some really good news for David. So we're celebrating with some um, Prosecco that the hotel actually gave us, because of it's obviously near our anniversary. And um, yeah, we're just chilling out now, it's like eight o'clock. We've been walking around all day. We went and saw Parliament um, at night on the other side of the water. So we actually had a view of the whole building, because not every other time, like we saw it yesterday, is being up close. Um, we, had a look around the Christmas market and just wandered around in that. Tomorrow we need to plan what we're going to do for then. I think we want to go to this um, bakery, like, like the oldest one in Budapest. And then, um, I'm not sure what else we're going to do. We were going to go to the actual spa that's outside, the thermal baths. But it's minus five, so we're not too sure about that because it might be a bit too cold. But we will see if we go or not because it is minus five but it might be okay we'll see but um i've got lots of content today like picture wise and everything as well which was nice um and we've had like a nice little wander around we've walked loads i've done about 30 something thousand steps on my fitbit which is a lot considering i struggle to get eight every day while i'm at work um but yeah we're just gonna chill out i'm gonna take my makeup off in a minute i'm getting my pajamas i'm still in like all my thermal layers i don't I didn't show you this i actually have this on and then underneath I have a like thermal vest underneath and then thermal leggings because it's that cold so um I'm going to show you what I got for my dinner it's very half eaten and then me and Dave are just going to chill out for the rest of the evening it is day three of Copenhagen me and Dave have been chilling out today we have actually had um Bailey's hot chocolate at the market. Had a wander around and looked at the central market hall, which is basically just one big food market for like your meat and veg, really. It wasn't what it said on the internet it was gonna be. Um, now we are walking over one of the bridges to go to this. Up there, that little point just there, is basically um, the sister's rail. You can walk up there, so um, apparently we're going to attempt to do that. It's massive. Apparently, according to um, the internet, it takes 20 minutes to walk up there. So um, from the bottom, I'm going to time it up to the top and see how fit and healthy me and David are. Considering we've got like five layers on and we can barely walk up the stairs here because of, we've got so many layers on our legs. But um, we're going to do it before it gets too dark and then maybe go and drink lots of old wine at a Christmas market to kind of mark our last day. We was going to do the um, thermal spas, but it is so cold. The thermal spas are an hour's walk away and neither of us don't want to get out of our clothes to get into some warm water then to get back out again. We have walked up to the city as now. It's actually just here. We're just walking around to see um, where's the bus to go back down. Because we did it in 22 minutes with stopping and taking selfies and that along the way. But we're gonna um, get the bus back down because it is so slippery and snowy everywhere that we don't want to risk falling. And it actually started snowing as we were walking up here as well. So um, like literally if I turn around and show you what we're walking on right now. We're walking on pure, like, frozen ice all the way and then going on the path. So, um, we're not going to do that going down because of, um, someone's going to end up on their ass, and it's going to be me. So, um, we're going to walk down, go to the, um, Fisherman's Baston and see about going to this bakery that's the oldest bakery in Budapest and then have lots of mulled wine, I think. Mm -hmm. 